Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be doing a video talking about some books that I read that have the word witch in the title. This video already a while ago and the audio didn't turn out and I was very upset but let's hope this time it turns out. Maybe. Anyways, I have four books here to talk about. I read one book that had the word witch in the title and then I just kept going but they they range <laughs> quite a bit in what they are. Some of them are non-fiction, some of them are YA fantasy. Um, there's like an adult feminist lit and then a young adult thriller as well. One of them really surprised me and was like my favorite from this, from the ones I read, but let's get into it. First up here I read We Were Witches by Ariel Gore. I'll read what the back says, the little blurb it has because I think it's pretty accurate, but it's Ariel's a teen mom, aspiring writer, and feminist witch trying to get a college education during the first Bush administration. Basically she's screwed. Ariel, who's teen mom, um, I really liked Seeing the relationship with her daughter progress in the book uh, and the challenges of being a teen mom were also just really interesting to read about. I'll have some of the trigger warnings linked down below, like my review with the trigger warnings linked down below for this because this does deal with a lot of different things. What I really liked was this was like a little bit of magical realism, but also I loved the Sylvia Plath references. They made me really happy. I love Sylvia Plath. <laughs> some things I questioned like for example, like they spelled woman but took man out and spelled it with a Y instead. I don't know if that, I'm not, I'm not hating, but I don't know if that's necessary. But like I wrote even in my notes, get it, I guess. Sure, but um, overall this is one that I definitely enjoy certain aspects of it, but overall it wasn't my favorite thing in the world. It turned out to be pretty average for me. So I gave it three stars. Next up we have The Modern Guide to Witchcraft and this one specifically is Witches, Covens, and Spells by Sky Anders. So this is one that I did not read the reviews before I picked this up. I started reading this on script on my phone and then I was like, I really like this and I bought it because I wanted to tab it and you know. So half of this book is more interesting in my opinion than in the second half. So basically this went, talked about witchcraft from like basics to what an altar is, casting a circle, a little, little bit of history of witchcraft, crystals as well, and then the basically other half was spells. I've read so many books like this that talk about the basics of modern witchcraft. This one was just okay, it was about the same. I rated this the same as I read the, pre rated the previous book I read. Uh, I gave this three stars. Overall I thought like this was a decent intro guide, but like half of it's also spells. So if you're not interested in spells, don't buy this one. <laughs> I read Sea Witch by Sarah Henning. This is a young adult fantasy type book. I bought this when it released, which was, I looked it up. It was a long time ago. I think like 2016-ish. But yeah, there's a second book now. Basically all I knew about this one was that it had Witch of a title. So I was like, okay, goes with my video idea. And then <laughs> also that there were mermaids. And I was like, okay. This is about our main character Evie and her best friend drowns in the water. So that's a big part of this book is the grief of that. There's two love interests in this book for our main character. <laughs> Basically that's between the prince and, and then the thing that she currently has with her current guy that is the prince's cousin. Yes. So it was different than I kind of expected. The mermaid thing, the sea witch thing was really interesting. I enjoyed that part. <laughs> Themes of like friendship and betrayal in this one, which were interesting. Overall though, like if you're just looking for like a fun kind of YA read, then maybe I would suggest this. Uh, if you really want something about mermaids and witches and that kind of thing. I overall gave this one another three star. So I had three, three stars, but the last one, the last one I loved. I say love, but I still only gave this a 3.5, but I'm going to boost it to a 4 because I thoroughly enjoyed this and I think a lot of people would enjoy it as well. Uh, super interesting. Anyways, How to Hang a Witch. This is by Adriana Mather, who is actually one of the descendants of Cotton Mather, who was involved in the Salem Witch Trials originally and who kind of helped instigate them. So this author's got some history and like kind of delved into her family history so good. The pitch for this book, which wouldn't have gotten me, but it's Salem Witch Trials meets Mean Girls, if that's something you're interested in. But this book is about a girl named Sam who moves from New York City to Salem and has to kind of readjust to the new school and also her last name is Mather, so everyone hates her uh, because of her ancestor. 
there's a little romance in this book. I won't give it away, but if you start it, you'll you'll be able to figure it out pretty quick. For all though, I thought this one was really fun. It was my favorite out of the four again. Um, it was, I love the setting. I love being in Salem. I want to go to Salem. But I also loved that this author kind of dug into her past and then dug into the history of that. And I just thought it was all really interesting. And I didn't know that the author was related to Cotton Mather. I should have noticed, but I had to remind myself who he was specifically. So I, I didn't know till the end about all that, but I think that's very interesting. And it kind of like does a social commentary about bullying versus hanging. But yeah, overall, I really enjoyed this. Uh, there you have, this author has a sequel, no, sequel, sequel, companion that I bought. So I want to read that one, but yeah, it was really good. Anyways, there you guys have it. That was my little video talking about uh, reading some books with witch in the title. Let me know your favorite book that you've read that has witch in the title, if you have one, if there is one. And thank you so much for watching this video and I'll hopefully talk to you soon.